my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, today I'm going to go through my trash and show you my empties. And if you're interested to hear what products I've used up, what products I'm going to repurchase, definitely products I want to stay away from then. Please keep on watching. Okay guys, I love watching the empty videos myself. That is why I do them <laughs> too. It's because I always learn what people think about the product after using it plenty of times. The first impression I do like also, but sometimes there are some products that you need to use, reuse, try in different ways to make it work for you. That also then makes the magic. So there are some products in here that I definitely love and definitely will purchase. And some products I just say, no, keep your money, save your money, run away. Let's start with the first product. I'm going to go through here products first. I love Keraste or Keraste, can't really pronounce the brand, never could and never going to. Uh, I love their brand and I love some of their shampoos and conditioners. But this one, Smooth In Motion Shampoo, is the one that I don't really like. It's not, I'm not, I'm not hating it. If I got it in one of my subscription boxes, definitely I'll use it. But it's nothing I will repurchase again. It just didn't do so much for my hair, it just felt like regular shampoo and this is expensive their brand is expensive so not going to buy again shampoo i'm definitely going to buy again it's the she moisture curl and shine shampoo now i know my hair is not curly today definitely needs to be washed but this is something i use when i am going through that curly hair journey <laughs> i like this shampoo and i definitely repurchased it i repurchased the, uh, the conditioner too i think i had it in my last empty videos and going to repurchase going to try this brand a little bit more is because it's not expensive but it's good i also like the briogeo don't despair repair shampoo i think i had a smaller version of it that i liked and then i bought the full one now after using the whole bottle i see like this is a good shampoo but i don't feel like it's something special special you know it's going to be more special if you use the whole uh, collection you know all of the products together but using it by itself with other products from other brands it just didn't make much magic at all so we'll buy it again nothing i'm going to run to buy but um, i do like briogeo products so if you want to try i do recommend it the one product that i fell in love with when when it comes to briogeo it's a straight and moisture leave-in mask this is a very good mask, something I definitely recommend. I don't like the packaging though, but I do like the product and something I'll definitely purchase. Now I do have other products that I'm using right now that are this kind of leave-in mask in the hair that I also like, but this one I will definitely will buy it again in the future. It is expensive though. Products I didn't like, let's just take them out all of them again because it's the same brand so we don't need to spend a lot of time with it. But there are four products that I used uh, from Sense of Wellness brand. I got this in uh, the Body, Body Wellness calendar, something like that. Um, I used the food cream, the day, the shampoo and the conditioner and also the exfoliating. Product. Now the least favorite is exfoliating uh, product. It doesn't exfoliate the body. It's going in the trash. Don't want to spend in even more seconds on talking about that. Shampoo conditioner, not bad. Just the regular shampoo and conditioner. Nothing that I'm going to run out and buy. But if I buy the calendar again and get something similar, I will use it. I also didn't really fell in love with the food cream. I like food creams, but this one didn't really moisture my feet enough. Uh, I could still feel the cream. I also needed to have socks because it will be slippery if I will go without socks after applying this product. So usually applied when I was going to bed, but nothing I will really purchase, but not, not use, if you know what I mean. Then I have used this uh, Schmitz, Schmitz, ah, God, help me, can't pronounce this brand. Um, this is the natural deodorant. Well, now what it's called, um, Caitlin Light talked about this specific deodorant, she liked it, then she stopped using it after people told her that it will make her underarm, underarms darker. That's not the case with this one. I feel that's a myth, that it's not 
going to happen because this is my second one using it and it didn't make my underarms darker. I like this brand, I like this one. I also like the rose scent and also the lime one. Oh, the lime one is my favorite and the rose one. The least favorite is the pineapple. Um, I still have some left of it, but it doesn't really work as good as this, but it's a good one. I mean, if you haven't tried it and want to go for natural deodorants, try this brand, see if you can find your favorite. Uh, then I use this Loving Grip. This is the Swedish brand Hand Balm Healthy Glow really good product really good it's instant absorption and uv protection i love this and definitely absorbed very fast could see myself repurchasing i think i got this in look fantastic christmas calendar fell in love definitely going to buy again then i also have the orflame pure skin refreshing face toner that i bought from uh, one of my friends she kind of sells this brand or something like that i don't know she works for this brand and i did try it i did like it nothing that i'm going to run it repurchase because i have plenty of toners to use and try out but it's not bad it's affordable or a flame sweden if you're into this brand why not try it i mean it's not bad wouldn't hate to get it again product i didn't like and don't understand people buying it or spend their money on it's the molten molten brown London bath and shower gels. This is, I don't know, my fifth or sixth bottle. I didn't purchase it myself. I got them in subscription boxes and Christmas calendars. I don't like the scents on them. They don't smell so nice. And for me, I it's my opinion. Uh, I, I don't know. It's like an any, any shower gel. I like Nevia's one and uh, other brands, but Dove's, but these, I wouldn't buy them myself. They are a little bit higher in price. I mean, there are other, they are cheaper and better. So I would, I would use them if I get them. And if I get a scent or one of those that I like, I will tell you guys, but no, I wouldn't run out and buy them myself. The other product I don't like. I do like, I do like the brand. I've tried their, some of their products. I like their makeup, it's Nip and Fab. I got this uh, repairing shot from my, with Bee Sting. I like Bee Sting and I'm not allergic to it, but I didn't see any difference. I tried this and I do have some product left. I tried this and used it two, three months. I didn't see any big difference. So I get got bored and I'm not going to use it again. I think this is even expired because I didn't see any difference and I stopped using it. And I, then I saw it again laying there and I just thought I, I will go, get rid of this because I won't use it again and won't repurchase. But I am curious to f try uh, more of the skincare products from Nipper Fab because I tried a couple of face creams that I really liked and I want to try more. Then let's see, I also got this Philip Kingsley, Kingsley, God help me with the names, I can't read them, but this is um, deep conditioner treatment. I love this, I love this. This made my hair really soft and really nice and uh, this made my hair shiny, beautiful looking, easy to come through. I just love this and you use it before you do before shampooing. I like it. I need to check it out and buy it because I don't have I don't know the price. I got it in one of my subscription boxes, uh, but I did love it. Then I also got this Elimin Elimis. I will stop saying the names because I can't read. This face cream that is just amazing. I really like it. Uh, I won't repurchase it myself because I have others that I also like that are more affordable. But if you get this, use it because this is pretty good. Uh, then I also used a couple of setting sprays. I used the LA Girl setting spray that I did li do like. Uh, matte finish prep and fine from uh, Catrice and also Nip and Fab. Nip and Fab I did like. I hate the spray, uh, what it's called, the mist oh, spits in your face. The mist is terrible, the product is good. Won't repurchase because of the packaging. Uh, Catrice one was good, nothing that will repurchase. It's affordable, but not my favorite. Uh, LA Girl, it's also a good one. This one I could see myself repurchasing. One that I love and need to buy again is the Lacombe's. It's 
best, it's better than the Urban Decay's. I don't really like the Urban Decay All Nighter, I don't know why, I'm just not in love with it. Then uh, concealer they're definitely going to repurchase, maybe not now because I have plenty, but later. This is their Jeffree Star Concealer in C13. Uh, so I used shade C13 and I love this concealer. Lightweight, easy to blend, make my eyes look, under eyes look beautiful. I just like this concealer. It's worth the price. So if you haven't tried it, try it. I will definitely purchase it myself. Then I have plenty of mascaras. Plenty of mascaras. Uh, let's go with this. This is the Kaya Cosmetics Vans Vava Volume and Bibs Boom Boom Lash Mascaras. Like them both, they worked fine for two, three weeks. Then I don't know what happened with the formula. I don't know if they tried out very fast, but then after two, three weeks, they start smudging, flaking, and I stopped using them. Um, Kaya Cosmetics I really like, so I will try the new mascara, Telescopic or something like that, I don't know, they just they just released, I'm curious to try that. These I wouldn't repurchase. The one I would repurchase, this one is Too Faced Damn Girl, this I got from my friend Valerie, the packaging is heavy though, and the, the, va the brush is <laughs> big. But I really like that clumpy look, so I can see myself repurchasing this one. This is a good mascara. The mascara I really enjoyed as my everyday mascara. It didn't make my eyelashes too long, like long or too much volume. I don't know. It just like everyday mascara that I really liked. It didn't smudge. It didn't flake. It's NYX one worth the hype. So worth the hype is worth the hype. I will repurchase. This one I don't want to talk about. This is Body Collection England Volumizing Mascara. I got this, I think, in dollar store. Hate it. It's not good. Then we have Bad Girl Benefit Bang Mascara that I do like. I will use it if I get in a subscription box. I won't try to buy it because there are others more affordable or also the same price range like that. Too Faced, I will buy that over this one. Uh, but it's not bad mascara. Uh, then I use this face cream from Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. It's a good eye cream. It's a little bit heavy texture. It's something that I used at night and I did like it. Won't repurchase it. I feel like there are others that I like a little bit more. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I also tried the Biotherm Life Plecton Elixir that I got. I have like 20 of these. I get these in all of Apple in my subscription boxes, calendars, I don't know, everywhere. When I buy something, they give me one of these. Did like it, did like it. I wouldn't repurchase the big one though, it's not magic. Two foundations that I talked about too much on my channel, and I'm going to talk about them just um, shortly in this one. This is Catrice. HD liquid coverage foundation lasts up to 24 hours. That's true. Need to buy this one again. Holy grill, love it. Too Faced Bone This Way. This is something that it took me a while to buy. Everybody was talking about it and I wanted to know what the hype and it's worth the hype. Love this foundation. These are beautiful. Love them. And also something I fell in love that I repurchased waiting for the packaging. This is the Kai Kai. Kale, Kayali Huda Beauty's perfume scent in vanilla. I bought the smaller, you know, like four packaging with four, all four of them, four scents to try out. And vanilla is my favorite. I always get compliments when I wear this, especially during the winter. It's sweet. It's like vanilla. Everybody told, said it looked, smelled like candy, uh, cotton candy, like candy, like vanilla. Everybody liked the scent when I walk past them so i ordered the big big <laughs> big bottle because i love this perfume so guys i do have uh, plenty uh, almost products that i'm almost done with so i will soon be ready with another of the empties videos i love these pro empty videos i think uh, i i learn a lot and I love doing them, making them, so I'm definitely going to do so again. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, is there any product that you used up 
uh, this uh, that you use uh, these couple of months that you think are worth the hype and also definitely something you're going to repurchase or is there any product you just feel like no thank you next let me know down below don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and i see you in my next video bye guys